It is the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And I am here in spiritual communion with all the Catholic faithful in various shrines of the Virgin Mary, basilicas in honor of the Virgin Mary, to pray together for the Synod convoked by Pope Francis this October. A Synod is a gathering. It will be a gathering of bishops, priests, religious and lay faithful in order to discuss the spirituality of synodality in the church. A synodal church is a listening church. A synodal church is a humble church that recognizes one another as brothers and sisters. The gospel for today on the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a good guide for us. God has visited us and it is our turn to visit one another. But it is a visit with a purpose. It is a visit with a mission. So sino ang dapat nating dalawin? Sino ang dapat nating dalhan ng Diyos na dumalaw sa atin? Let us look at the three characters in the gospel. The first character is the owner of the house, Elizabeth. Who was Elizabeth? Elizabeth was a marginalized woman. Elizabeth was an old wife without a child. They have been praying all their years, asking for a child, and it seemed the Lord had not answered them. So, si Elizabeth ay sumasagisag sa mga taong walang tinig, sa mga taong pinagtatawanan, sa mga taong hindi pinapansin, sa mga taong nasa laylayan, sa mga taong nasa, na, nakalimutan na ng lipunan. So, if we are to be a church, According to the mind of Jesus Christ, we must go out to the margins, go out to the periphery, go out to the voiceless, go out to the powerless, go out to the ignored, to the neglected, to the taken for granted, to the mocked, to the ridiculed, to the suspected, and then visit them and bring the blessing of the Lord. The second character in the gospel is John. John in the womb of Elizabeth. Who was John? John would be the last of all the prophets. And what is a prophet? A prophet is a spokesman. A prophet is not a fortune teller. A prophet is somebody who speaks on behalf of God. And the role of the prophet is not to be popular, is not to be successful. The role of the prophet is more to disturb. It is more to point out to people what is wrong. And yet, as we point out what is wrong, to give hope. The work of a prophet is to disturb consciences. The prophet is not a troublemaker in society. The prophet is a troublemaker for souls. For souls that have become cold. For souls that have become hard. For souls that have become angry. For souls that take God for granted or deny His existence. Ang ibig sabihin po, si San Juan ay sumasagisag doon sa mga taong nagsasalita na mga ayaw nating marinig. Doon sa mga taong akala natin, pintas na lang ang nakikita sa atin. Si San Juan ay sumasagisag doon sa mga taong parang hindi kaibigan. Sapagat ang nakikita nila sa atin ay mga dapat iwasto. And the church must reach out to them. Those who are angry. Those who do not believe in God anymore. Those who ignore God. Those who are angry at priests, those who mock and ridicule religion, the church 
has a space for them also. Because prophets are not only people who speak from the pulpit. Prophets are people sent by the Lord. Maybe they're even outside the church structure. But they are there to disturb our souls. And God uses them to bring us back to Him. The church reaches out to those people. The third character in the gospel is the Virgin Mary. Conceived without sin, lived without sin, and assumed into heaven without sin. The Virgin Mary is model of purity. Not just purity which is chastity, but purity which is total dedication to God. That no one ever possessed her except the Lord. That was the purity of Mary. Pure. And the Lord invites us as church to reach out to the pure of heart because the pure of heart will be able to lead us to see God because only the pure of heart will be able to see God. And then we say, we are an impure people. We are an unchaste people. We are untruthful people. We are dishonest people. Yes, but there is hope because to sin is human. But to rise up and to trust in the Lord is the call of the times. So here you are, brothers and sisters. If we are to be a synodal church, a church that listens, we must be a church that reaches out, a church that goes out into the peripheries so that we may see the Elizabeths of our times taken for granted, so that we may listen to the Johns of our times who say nasty things that we don't like to hear, that disturb us, that trouble our egos. We must reach out to the pure of heart so that like them, we may be able to see God. In other words, we are being asked to become a church, not just a church that teaches, but a church who learns from her children. A church who learns from the poor, from the weak, from the least, from the last, and the lost. We celebrate this Eucharist on the visitation of the Virgin Mary. God has visited us, and she in turn visits us. We have been visited by God, and it is our turn to be visitators, to be, to be visitors, to be bringers of Jesus to others. Look for Elizabeth in your life. Look for John in your life. Look for Mary, the pure of heart, in your life. Let them be your teachers. Let them disturb you. Let us reach out to them. Because only in looking for Elizabeth and John and Mary can we truly say we have become the church that Jesus wants us to be. Blessed Virgin Mary of Manawag, you visited Elizabeth in the house of Zechariah. And you have visited us in countless times in the past. It is now our turn to pay you back. May we become visitors and bringers of Jesus, your son, to one another. To the Elizabeths who are forgotten. To the Johns who disturb us. To the Virgin Mary, our teacher of real purity. Amen.